fire crews flew a drone into the Southwest Portland apartment building that caught fire Tuesday. They are still looking for a cause. Investigators are using a drone because the building is at risk of collapse. No one can go inside. Part of the front of the building has already collapsed. Bricks and other debris are on the street below. As you can see here, a fence is up around the area. Security personnel are on site to keep people away from the crumbling building. K2 has learned the 110-year-old building was not up to code with multiple violations. An inspector last visited the site the day before the fire. K2's Emily Gersh is live for us in southwest Portland. Emily, what's next for fire investigators? Yeah, right. Well, it's quite the scene out here as fire crews begin their investigation of this fire with help from the Scapoose Fire Department. Their fire chief is a licensed drone operator. Now, they're actually flying two drones over this building, a bigger one outside the building and a smaller one that's going inside. I'm not sure if you can see it right there. It is hovering over a window there. Now, the, the data that these drones bring back will help investigators figure out the cause of this fire. On Friday, Scapoose fire chief and drone pilot Jeff Pritcher flew drones to take pictures inside and outside of the May apartments, which were destroyed in Tuesday's massive fire. He says the drone can take 2D and 3D pictures to help fire investigators determine fire behavior and patterns and ultimately determine what sparked this fire. The May, located at Southwest 14th and Taylor, is just one of about 1,600 unreinforced May and rebuildings in Portland, including this very similar style apartment building next door. The city's Bureau of Development Services says these types of buildings, also known as URMs, have little or no reinforcing steel, so they pose a safety threat during an earthquake or a fire, which is why in this case, with the building so heavily damaged, the fire investigation depends on a drone. Flying an aircraft inside a building is challenging because we're in a GPS denied environment. So everything is based on the inputs that the pilot has on the controls. Whereas when we're outside, once the pilot is, or as the pilot is flying around, the aircraft is talking to satellites. So it's able to stay stable in one place. Now, I also spoke with an engineer at the Bureau of Development Services. This is the bureau that keeps a list of these unreinforced masonry buildings. Hear what he has to say at five about what he thinks city officials and landlords can learn from this fire. Portland Fire and Rescue started the investigation into the cause of Tuesday's big apartment fire. They're using drones because the building could collapse at any moment. The building is one of about 1,600 buildings in the city that have unreinforced masonry, which means it has little to no steel reinforcing the walls. K2's Emily Gersh talked with an engineer at the Bureau of Development Services about these types of buildings. Emily? Yeah, Deb, well, a list of the city's unreinforced buildings is available online, and this is one of them. Now, we don't know what caused this fire yet, but we did learn more about why it was so catastrophic. One of the characteristics of these types of buildings is that the floors are not attached to these walls. Uh, so if you get a, a small earthquake uh, on these things, you know, it's a, there's a very good possibility that the walls will separate from the floors and you get these kind of collapses that you see. In there. And that's what happened on this fire. Amit Kumar is an engineer at the Bureau of Development Services. It's a bureau that keeps a list of the city's more than 1,600 unreinforced masonry buildings. These are generally older buildings with little or no steel reinforcing walls, often recognizable by their classic red brick. They are dangerous to be in during an earthquake or a fire due to a threat of collapse. The May apartments that caught fire Tuesday are on the list, and the damage was so catastrophic the fire bureau couldn't send a person in, so they had to use drones to conduct their investigation. It's putting eyes into the building in a way that protects the people here from having to go inside. The city requires seismic upgrades to these types of buildings only if there is a major renovation, a vacant building becomes reoccupied, or the use or occupancy of the building changes. There was talk to require minimal upgrades to all of the buildings in 2018, but it never happened. Do you think that's something that should be looked at again? Uh, in my opinion, yes. Uh, and I am hopeful that the state would take the lead in this. 
Now, Portland and Scappoose fire personnel have been out here for hours with these drones taking pictures inside and outside of the building, hoping to learn more about what caused this fire. As soon as we learn more, we'll be sure to let you know. For now, live in Portland, Emily Gersh, K2 News. Emily, thank you.